Yo, this is Carl Arrieta, and I'm here at Redonda Beach Pier in Redonda Beach, California. And today, I wanted to talk about the topic of stepping outside of your comfort zone and why you should do it too. Now, most people and my friends, myself included, would probably consider myself as a city boy. And uh, that's my thing. I like to hang out indoors, indoor activities such as hanging out bars, clubs, being inside buildings, being inside houses, and just anything that, maybe hanging out inside big metropolitan areas, that's just my thing. And uh, if you were to invite me out to do some kind of outdoor activity, let's say uh, go camping, let's say um, go hiking, let's say do some skydiving, any kind of outdoor activity, I would probably tell you no. Thank you. And, uh, you know, I would probably tell you also that, you know, hey, that's not my comfort zone. That's not my thing. That's just not me. And funny enough, last week, I actually just accepted an invitation last week uh, to hang out at San One Frey Beach. And uh, I got to say, um, it was a, a, an interesting experience. I mean, you know, the day consisted of hanging out by the beach, hang, doing a little bit of hiking. And then at night, you pitch a tent and you go to sleep outside where there are no showers and the bathrooms are really stinky. But wow, it was such an amazing experience. The views out there were absolutely incredible. It made me want to do more of that. And um, it was a cool hang with friends. And I never would have experienced that if I had done my normal thing. If I would just said, you know what? No, that's not me. No, thanks. I always say no to that stuff, so no, right? And uh, it's funny because uh, I had a friend Another friend who, uh, before I actually went on the trip, I said, you know, hey, I'm going on this trip. And then he said, what? That's not you. That's crazy. Like, what happened? Why change? And I guess part, the, the, the short answer is that it's all part of my journey. And my journey is to become the best possible version of myself every single day. And I believe that in order to achieve that, I have to put myself in uncomfortable situations. I have to put myself out there where I am not used to a certain situation. And uh, you know, that's just, that's all part of it. But why do I think you should do it too? Here's the thing, what's, nor what, what's a normal day for most people? They wake up, they go to work, then they uh, come home, they eat their dinner, maybe they sit down on the couch, maybe open up a box of bonbons, maybe um, turn on the TV and watch American Idol, maybe Dancing with the Stars, maybe crack open the iPad and surf Facebook. And then when they're done, they get tired, they go to sleep, they wake up and do the same thing again and again, day after day. And you're gonna tell me, Carl, what's wrong with that? I mean, I work hard and I just wanna come home and relax and chill and not think too hard. And I get my instant gratification with the bonbons and American Idol, like, it's not a bad show. It's not a bad show. What's wrong with that? And I'm going to tell you, absolutely nothing, but in moderation. See, here's the thing. If that's like a big part of your life and you always do that kind of thing, I don't think that's a good life. Here's why. When you stay inside your comfort zone, obviously we all know what's going to happen in there. We know what to expect. We know that when we watch Dancing with the Stars or American Idol, we're going to be happy. When we eat the bonbons, we're going to be like, mm, that's so good. Like, you, you get your instant gratification. And uh, nothing crazy is gonna happen there. You just stay home, nothing's gonna happen. There's no crazy people that you can meet. But, and I will argue also that um, that's not that great, especially if you do it all the time. And here's why. I mean, if you stay inside that little box, nothing can grow inside that box. You yourself cannot grow inside that box because you're contained in that box. But if you step outside of it, that is where you can expand. Is the world a crazy, dangerous place? Of course it is. Or is it filled with people who you don't want to meet who are shady and unscrupulous and suspicious? Of course there are. But conversely, the world is also an amazing place. There's so many awesome things you can like discover. So many awesome adventures you can have. So many awesome, cool, interesting, kind people that you can meet. And you can only do that if you step outside of your comfort zone. You can't see and appreciate nature if you don't go outside and explore. You can't meet some awesome, cool, maybe business contacts, maybe cool personal friends you can have, maybe cool relationships that you, that you can have. I mean, you can't do that if you stay inside your comfort zone. I mean, for somebody who has social anxiety, going out meet new, meeting new people, that's totally outside of their comfort zone. They're gonna be totally uncomfortable. But I argue that if you get a little bit uncomfortable, you're gonna grow. 
you're gonna expand and you're gonna give yourself so many opportunities to meet some awesome cool people that you're gonna be so much happier in the long run. Yes, in the short run, it's nice to eat those damn bonbons. Yes, it's nice to watch Dancing in the Stars. But if you go outside and explore the world, you're gonna have a much more full life. And here's the thing, life is so damn short. It's so damn short. I'm 35 years old now, and uh, I'm like, where the hell did the time go? I thought it was just 20, just 20, like, you know, just yesterday. And 15 years, holy crap, went by so freaking fast, okay? At the end of my life, I want it to be my goal to be able to say, wow, that was so awesome. That I had an awesome life. I had so many awesome adventures. I met so many cool people. And it's all thanks to me stepping outside of the normal stuff that I normally do. And um, that's the thing. I mean, you don't want to be in your deathbed going, oh man, I just ate bonbons and watched American Idol all day. And uh, gosh, that's it. I can't even change it now because uh, I'm almost dead. No, not cool, right? So put down the bonbons turn off American Idol, or whatever it is that you are comfortable with, step outside of that. And um, I mean, when you go work out, yes, you're gonna experience some pain. Yes, you're gonna experience some discomfort. I mean, I just came back from a workout today at a boot camp that I normally do. And there was a point where I, I was so nauseous, I wanted to throw up. And if I were to tell you, hey, let's go do, let's experience some pain. Let's experience some discomfort. Let's do something that's gonna make us kind of want to throw up you're probably gonna tell me no, right? But if it's in the context of working out, you know that you're gonna experience those things. So every single rep where you feel pain, you know that you are getting stronger. You know that you are becoming the best version of yourself. That's why you experience it. So here's the thing, that can, that can apply in so many situations where you, know, you experience pain or discomfort or a little bit uncomfortableness or awkwardness, you know, maybe even a social situation like this where there's so many people walking by and watching, but who cares? I know I'm growing. I didn't even want to do this at first, but I just stuck with it. I said, you know what, Carl? You decided that you were going to do this kind of thing, do video blogs out in public places, just freaking do it. And here I am. And uh, I'm so thankful that I did. The waves out here are absolutely gnarly today. Um, I don't know if you can see that. But uh, yeah, so that's the situation today. That's pretty much all I have. I don't want to stay out here too long, otherwise I'm gonna get dark. I didn't put any sunscreen on. And uh, as always, thank you so much if you've been watching. And uh, if you have any comments, please do comment. And until next time, take care.